Hey, it's time for Last Night in the Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. Bluffton's baseball team threw out its ace to beat Buford High on Monday, but the Bobcats had another one up their sleeve for the rematch. Nico Martucci went the distance in a 6-4 road win, limiting the Eagles to five hits and three walks with six strikeouts and adding an RBI single. And Tyler Wolf was two for four with a double and two RBIs to help Bluffton finish the sweep. Our friends at Buford's Own were in the nest on Ladies Island for a loco on loco lacrosse matchup, and May Rivers girls got out to a quick start and coasted to a 10-4 win over Buford High. And John Paul II shot 163 to edge Hilton Head Christian Academy by two shots in a nine-hole meet at Berkeley Hall. HHCA's Hayes Etheridge and Philip Court shared medalist honors at even par 36. Basketball season is over, but the accolades are still rolling in. USCB's Marcus Overstreet and Janiah Hayward swept the Peach Belt Conference Freshman of the Year honors after emerging as the leaders of the first-year Sandshark program. A 6'9 center from Chicago, Overstreet averaged 17.6 points and 11 rebounds while collecting 13 double-doubles in an electrifying debut season in the Cove. Hayward, a 5'7 forward out of Savannah's Woodville Tompkins High School, led Sharon Versip's team with 13.1 points per game and averaged 6.9 rebounds, adding a versatile weapon to a shorthanded roster. And two loco seniors will get to play one more high school basketball game as Hampton County's Kayvon Chisholm and Bluffton's Jelena Mosley were named to the South rosters for the South Carolina Basketball Coaches Association's North-South All-Star Game. Tune in to the Loco Media Network at 10 p.m. tonight to get all the latest local sports news on the Loco Sports Lowdown. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!